G'day guys, today we're going to do a video on how to make your YouTube thumbnails. We're going to go open it up in Photoshop. The first thing is get your photo up that you're going to use. I'm just changing the saturation and the brightness here on this one. Just to bring it up a little bit more so it's more appealing. And basically we're going to go into filters, layers sorry, and we're going to duplicate the layer. Going to work with the top layer here, the back layer, with the layer underneath, the background now, we're going to turn it off so we can work with the top layer. Get the magic wand tool and start selecting the background around the face and delete. Uh, I think on the Mac it's Control X and um, I'm not too sure on the IBM Windows what the thing is, but delete anyway. So I'm just changing the um, Saturation again, the lightness, let's make it a little bit more appealing. There's two ways of getting rid of the background. One is to use the magic wand tool, which is the best. The other way is to use the eraser tool. Now, I'm just using the eraser tool here, just to show you what it's like. Uh, you have to use a nice fine little brush to get it. Otherwise, it's just not gonna be a nice clean cut, especially when you use the stroke for the background. So now I'm back to the magic wand tool and just really finely just go around the edge. And I'm gonna go quick to go through this process here because it's quite time consuming. There we are going right through it quickly. Right, now we've got the image up. All clear background, all ready to go. And now, just changing the image to make it a little bit brighter again. And now we're changing the image to a nice square size, 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters, and 300 DPI. A nice square size thumbnail, that's what you really need. That's the best thing. As you can see, you can select it now, go right down to the brightness, and change the brightness a little bit more, make it more appealing. The whole idea is to get it nice and square, square image for your thumbnail now the background I'm going to fill it in with a white color so that you've got a nice clear image here but then again might be better if we just change it to a red background at this stage to do a white stroke background around the image got to layers come down to stroke and there we go, layer style. Now we're going for a nice, uh, we're going for a five here at the moment, and a white color. Um, I think it's a nine actually we used for the level there. Now we're going down to the text. All you do is just click on the image and start texting away. Unfortunately, I've picked a red color here for the text. So we're going to have to change the background, but we'll just delete that at the stage. So just turn it off. That's all. We'll just turn the layer off. Now we start texting away. Now we're using a text here, a font called Bangers, which is a bit more bang for your buck type of thing. It always stands out, this type of text. It's pretty good. Here we go. Now, how is the first word? I'm just going to type all the words in here now. Now the main thing is, when you're doing your YouTube thumb, thumbnail, is to make it nice and bright and vibrant. That way it's really appealing to the eye, especially when people are looking down a list of videos and to see a nice bright, you know, really out there, standing out there type of thumb, it's kind of appealing. In the background, we're going to have to change to black now because we've got the white, red writing. Uh, still, it looks pretty good. Uh, of course, I got my image, which has got that straight white background, which really stands out well with the black background. Now, I think we might do the same thing. We might do the stroke as well for the lettering. Now, we're going to resize the lettering first by just clicking on the um, the X tool at the top of the tools on the left hand side there, so you can just you know, maneuver, change around, whatever you want to do with any image or text. 
And basically all I'm doing here, I'm just resizing the text by using that tool. Now we're going to go back into the layers and we're going to put the stroke around the letters. Now because of the word thumbs, because that's what the whole thing's all about, I'm just going to elaborate on that word just by you know, turning on a bit of an angle, giving it a bit more of a appealing, you know, stand out word type of thing. So usually you just, you know, select the corners there with the select tool and you can just, you know, turn it around, resize it, whatever you want to do. Going down to the stroke and give it a nice white background. Going to select a nice size 9, I think, on this one. I'm going to do the same thing with all the other letters so they all stick out. White, nine, size 9. There we go. Same for the next one. And for the YouTube one as well. Here we go. Stroke. Size 9. A white colour. There we go. So now there you go. That's the basic of it, guys. Uh, you can stop from there or else, you know, change whatever you want. I'm just going to change the thumbs one to a yellow colour. Oh, I'll try blue first. No, that's no good. I might go to a yellow. Yeah, it kind of stands out a bit more. So there we go. Nice and vibrant and bright. This is what we want. Nice square size too. So it really stands out. And the thumb's a little bit too much of an angle there, so I'm just going to create it and go back a little bit further. So as you can see, it's all coming together now. And with Photoshop, the beauty of it is that you can use that select tool. There's going to be different layers, and you can select things, resize them, change them, put them in different positions. And that's the magic of Photoshop. It's a great tool to use. Now, as you can see here, as usual, there's always a little tiny bit that you didn't get a good clean cut on. So the little dot there, the little white dot, I'm just going around it just to select the image part there just to get rid of it with the magic wand tool. And there we go, guys. That's basically how to do 